Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Rest of Mod Daisy. Uh, we're doing a video today about a customer gun. We've done several of those in the past and they've been quite fun. And I think this one will be just as much fun. What we have here is a, all the way from Colorado, is a Daisy Red Ryder 1938B current production gun. It's got the plastic trigger, plastic safety. It's got the plastic Latigo loop and the metalish ish Latigo receiver. The gun is a current production gun, so it's got the trap located on the side of the barrel. And the customer, not satisfied with the black sight, has opted for a special fluorescent paint. Might be radioactive. It's from Colorado. Could be something straight out of the mines. We don't know. And what makes this gun kind of cool is it's a commemorative. I don't know if you guys have got the ability to look up an image on the internet, but believe it or not, this is Doc Holliday. And Doc Holliday is a warm favorite of ours down here in Decatur, Georgia, because Doc was a Georgia boy. And we've all seen the movie, so we know the story. We won't go into it. This is a Red Rider, current production, so it's got the Red Rider logo on the right-hand side of the stock. It's a pretty nice looking logo. The customer has seen photos of some of my special projects that I've put up on Instagram and done a little bit of YouTube work with. And what he wants to do is to turn this perfectly nice, well-working, acceptable Red Rider carbine into a Resto Mod mare's leg. So we're gonna make that dream come true. And part of the process is going to be to pull the original factory stocks. We will set them off to the side in case he wants to convert the gun back. Although at that point in time, it's gonna be a very short barreled Red Rider. Um, when we do a uh, mare's leg, we don't do the, uh, just cut the stock off at the edge. I like to, to put a stob style grip on my stuff and put a, an insert in to double up the apparent width of the grip. It makes it a little easier to hold. Now, I do these in a couple of different styles. This is just a straight mare's leg. I also build a version called a mini crank. And you can put a, or we will put, a uh, Moisson and Gant sling point type attachment here at the butt for a neck brace or neck thong. And on the mini crank, we put a wooden hand top cover. A couple of other options available with the Resto Mod mare's leg. Uh, we can install a Picatinny rail on this section by utilizing the front sight and the rear stock screw. Not the world's most secure mount, but adequate for whatever you might want to happen to throw on a gun like this. And we normally replace the front sight with the new Daisy fiber optic front sight. Um, the technique involved here is we'll cut the barrel back six inches and we will use the front sight as a plug to load the gun. You just unscrew or pop the front sight off, drop your BBs down, reinstall the front sight, and it's in there sufficiently to not come out. Now that does require you to manually realign the front sight, but that's fairly easy to do with the fiber optic sight. Yeah, other than that, cocking process is the same, shooting process is the same. They're fun little guns. I always put a swell on the forearm and then put finger grooves on it for effect, but if you're one of those kind of guys that doesn't care for finger grooves or swells, and we don't have to do that, we can do something else. And of course there's the Mini Creek option, which I don't have a photo of or a, an actual unit here in the shop anymore because the last one I built sold and is enjoying its new home in Chicago. I didn't feel like trying to get it back for a video. So that's on the deck here at Resto Mod Daisy. We're going to convert a 1938B Red Rider into a Resto Mod Mare's Leg. I think Steve McQueen would, would have been proud to carry one of these. That's all for today. Shane Bruce, Resto Mod Daisy, signing off.